Hi guys, this is Wirehead King, and today I'm carrying on my tutorial series on creating a rainforest. In the last part, we created this uh, shrub here, and right now, in this next part, we're going to be creating variations of it and also working on the materials. So, let's work on the materials right now. But first of all, uh, if we just, you know, press A and then de uh, deselect A, we have now saved these settings and now set and done and I'm just gonna save this actually save as part two because you know I don't want to accidentally mess up the recording I have to do some stuff okay part two and then okie dokie there we go so right now uh, this is classed as a curve because if you remember we actually added in a curve to uh, you know make this uh, we can easily turn this into a mesh by pressing Alt C and choosing Mesh from Curve like that. And uh, these plants already set as a mesh. Oh, these leaves are already set as a mesh, so don't worry about that. Now, um, before we start joining the objects together, we want to give this a material. So these are leaves, and let's make this bright green so we know they're leaves. Maybe darker. There we go. And this is a shrub uh, tr shrub, uh, shrub trunk there we go I don't know what to call it really but there we go now we can join up our trunk with our leaves like that and yeah there we go now with the trunk we're actually well this particular trunk anyway we're gonna make our own texture just using a cloud texture because we could add in a, in fact we might add in a real element uh, let's think no no we're gonna make our own texture so if we add a new texture like this and call it a uh, shrub trunk color and let's just call it color actually because then we can keep things in this set key like that okay um, yeah, what we're going to do is, in the colors, if we tick ramp, and then set the alpha up to 1, and make this like a dark, browny, yellowy color like that, sort of, maybe make it a bit more neutral, somewhere around there, and then with this one up here, we set this to, uh, sort of, lighter brown, like that, maybe just increase the contrast to 1.5, maybe even 2, yeah, and then just increase the brightness a bit. Um, yeah, I don't think. Yeah, just maybe make it a bit brighter and maybe. Hmm. Sort of like that color. Now we're sort of back where we were. But that's beside the point. Okay, let's just. Yeah, let's just uh, carry on and see what happens. We're going to set the noise from soft to hard, like that. And also set the size to 0 0.05 and now we have uh, what sort of like a, a tree bark texture and uh, we just go into geometry and tick normal here and set it to 0.5 uh, we now have uh, we go to our materials yeah you can see we now have this uh, tree bark sort of texture being added to our trunk so that's some good progress but now we need to adjust the specularity. Now, we have to remember that, you know, we have got a rainy scene, so it's going to be wet, so we're going to need some specularity, but not much. So if we just set to 0.2, and then bring up the hardness to 250, like that, then we have, um, you know, some specularity. Let me just increase it a bit. Yeah, something like that. So, in fact, yeah, let's leave it at 0.5, and have the specularity at 250 and that will look good now for the leaves okay uh... what we're gonna do is adjust the specularity so make it yeah just set this to 250 as well in the hardness also we're gonna go to translucency and set this to 0 0.7 because what that would do is mean that when light hits the leaves uh... the light won't just stop it will continue through the, pl uh, the leaves at 0.7 so you know, if light at the energy of 1 hits the leaf, then, you know, it 0.7 c 
comes out and then that will then get divided into stuff so that it just adds a bit more liveliness to the uh, materials or it just lets uh it just adds a bit more realism okay so we're also going to turn on transparency and set the alpha down to zero and the specular down to zero as well and the reason why is because we're going to have a uh, texture actually control the alpha and that's why I made the leaves rectangular it just saves uh, wasted geometry so if we add a new texture image or movie I'm going to call this shrub leaf one at uh, leaf color one there we go and if we just open up a texture I got this texture from the Nature Academy, so if you want to join up there and sign up, then you know, please do. It's a great course. Okay, so we're gonna go for uh, let's see this bright green big. Okay, we open that up and tick pre multiply, and that'll just uh, make sure that it's it doesn't have because if we if we look closely here, it's sort of got these white outlines, we don't want that, so if we just tick pre-multiply, that's fine. Uh, we don't have to worry about any UV mapping, because the leaves are all in their own separate geometry, so the leaf text will just be applied to it separately, so that's fine. Uh, let's also go to uh, uh, Alpha in the Influence, just check Alpha, and what that would do is now if we look at our material, you can see that, uh, you know, there, there's a leaf texture to it. If we didn't have that on, then it'd just be nothing. And there we go. So, yeah, you can see how that works. And that's a point because we've done that. Uh, you know, the light will still treat it like a rectangle, so it's just gonna get weird shadows everywhere. But if we come down to shadow and uh, tick receive transparent on both of these materials, then we should be fine. Okay, so that's the material set up. We could render this. In fact, yeah, let's do that. So, we're going to need to set up a uh, similar light um, conditions to our scene, but we're going to adjust it in a bit. So, well, later on in the tutorial, we will set up the lighting properly, but you know. So, we're going to have it there. Maybe set it to like a sort of orangey yellow color like that. Turn on ambient occlusion, set it to multiply, and environment lighting. Yeah, that's about it really. Render. And. Okay, so it's not looking that bad. It's, they still look like rectangles to me though, but that's fine. Uh, hmm. Yeah, so it's not looking that bad like I was saying. Uh, but there's still some improvements we can do later. And if you look at the trunk color for this, that looks fine. Might make it a bit smaller later though. Um, if that's what you know is necessary okay so that's the first shrub done how long has this tutorial been going on for eight minutes okay so now for the variations of this shrub now you could try and duplicate it and play around with it but that's pointless uh, but so what I'm going to do is just uh, I believe it there actually and go to a new layer and add curve add tree like that and we just load in the forest shrub preset you can see we got it there oh god no hang on yeah you just need to play around a bit and we'll be done so go to branch uh, sorry branch splitting and change the uh, levels to three like that and then we add our leaves show leaves there we go that's fine now go back to our geometry and increase the random C to something like that for example there we go and then we just apply this material to the leaves here and the trunk material to the trunk okay and then just join those together and send them over there and we can add you know let's add another you know few so forest shrub if you don't know how I'm selecting forest shrub you know I've I made a preset in the last tutorial so yeah we can you know just do that uh, set the random seed to something else so seed 5 is too small seed 6 there we go that's not too bad uh, branch splitting levels to 3 
and then leaves, show leaves like that. And then again, we're going to apply those materials to it, and that like that. Okay, join up the objects. Uh, wait, yeah, we need to convert it to a mesh first, don't we? And then join them up. Did I do that with the other one? Not convert it to a mesh. Hang on. Uh, which was our first one? Hmm. All right, yeah. So press Alt C and then mesh from curve and join them up like that and okay with this one here just move it over to that layer okay so just made nice just make uh, this sort of lineup of different shrubs and it's just a nice quick way to add some plants and now we've got that preset there forever I think anyway so you know we can uh, you know, play around. You, you know, if you ever want to make another shrub, it should just be there. And also, you know, if you still have the Blender file, you can just transfer them in uh, if you know how to do that. Okay, so then under leaves, show leaves, and I just thought under geometry. Oh, good, it has been set to auto. I thought we might have. Uh, you know, I don't know all about what saves and what doesn't in the presets. I'm pretty sure all of it does. Uh, but yeah, okay. So do that, and then give that the trunk, convert it to a mesh, join them up, move it over. Right, hang on, did I? I think I just made a complete replica of. Yeah, I forgot to change the seed. Sorry about that. So just load in our preset and set the seeds. We had five. That was too small. Then we used six. So now we're going to use, that was too small, 15, okay, and come over to the splitting again, levels 3, leaves, show leaves, okay, and now just get the materials in like that, press Alt C, uh, change it to a mesh, then join them up, and you know what, should we just call that a day for the shrubs? I mean, in fact, all it takes is one more. We have five, so yeah, let's just add one more. And you know, the more you add, the more realistic your scene will be. So don't just add one. Variation is also another essential for nature. So you know, if you have loads of plants and they will just look the same, then it's pretty obvious that it's going to be fake. Because one of the things you need to keep in mind when uh, creating anything that's CG or computer generated, you know, unless it's something ridiculous that's obviously fake, you're going to want to sort of aim so that the muggles think that it's real. When I say muggles, I mean the people who don't know anything about this stuff. Apart from that, it exists, obviously. Okay, so make that a mesh, and then join it up. And now we have done our, you know, last shrub okay so now I've got five of them and now let's just name them so we press N we can load up this thing here we're gonna call this shrub one shrub two and you know how about I just type in shrub and then copy it by pressing ctrl C and I'm putting a three there and that way I can now just paste it in and then put a number at the end of it and shrub 5 okay so now we have loads of shrubs and let's just actually increase the uh, resol um, yeah, the resolution on the x-axis like 2500 just for now so that we can sort of take a nice family picture of the shrubs so we wait for this to render I'm just gonna pause the video while that does Okay then, so they're not looking bad. Um, they're not looking that great either. So there's going to be a bit more adjusting later on. Like I'm definitely going to make the uh, size of that texture smaller and stuff like that. But other than that, that's not looking all too bad. So also one other thing I might want to do with the materials is um, just give it a bit of bump map on the leaves. Oh, uh, yeah, so just check geometry and set this to 
point two or something. And if we look at the material, yeah, it's done hardly anything at all, but you know. Okay, and yeah, let's just uh, change the trunk size to point zero two or something, and that should look good. I don't really think I want to re-render that or anything. So that's it for part two. Uh, yep, so I'll be seeing you again in part three where we're going to make different plants. Okay, so thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this tutorial, hit the like button, subscribe, do all that stuff. If you want to keep on track of this tutorial, then, you know, just keep subscribing. And thanks for watching, and goodbye.